What's up everyone? Welcome to the video and we're gonna be playing some chess today. Another another round of training games uh, and we get a King's Gambit. I love it. Okay so as you can see I've got some what I learned from my last game on the board. Uh, we're gonna try and play a Kizaritsky Gambit. Kizaritsky King's Gambit. We'll see what he plays though. Ooh, the Cunningham defense. Okay, so this is the Cunningham defense. The threat is here. Now there's a really funny line actually. I think what I do is I develop here, check, king here, and then I'm gonna play d4, uh, okay so here's my plan, ready? Knight c3, check, king e2, d3 is the only logical move, bishop here, Knight here, d4. Does that drop? No, it doesn't drop a pawn, it's defended. Drops a pawn. And then probably something like this, pinning my knight. And then king e1. Oh, excuse me, not king e1. Uh, probably bishop takes. I think I'm going to do it. This is a line I studied earlier. This is called the Cunningham defense to the King's Gambit. Okay, d3 is the move here for black. I mean, this move's okay too, but uh, that is not the right move. I'm going to claim the center now. I think white's actually much better. Um, kicking the knight doesn't make sense. I think I just win back my pawn and have a huge center. Takes, takes. No checks. The black's extremely underdeveloped. Okay, natural enough. If we push, he could maybe try and can't jump there, but he can jump there. So it'd be kind of nice to expand like this. It looks like he's going to Kingside Castle too. So my thoughts are deny the jump in, push him off. If he castles, the knight has to be really passive. And then I'm pretty sure I'm going to slide my queen over and then kind of tuck my king away like that. Okay, so h3 is the move I'm considering. Are there any other moves that look good? Uh, king d2, queen d2, with the idea of rookie one. All right, king, king maneuver. If I push the knight away. If I push this, oh, uh, yeah, if I push this knight, can't go here, it takes. Can't go here, it takes. Could go here. I hit him with a tempi. Can't go here, can't go here, can't go here, can't go back. Knight's forced all the way back. Kind of like that. First thought was to try and bully this knight, but... I mean, my massive center should I should have a an advantage. Oh, I don't like this. My opponent just left. I mean, his position's terrible with correct play, but he's back. 
Hmm. That's kind of interesting. So he played the move I thought he would. Hope you guys enjoyed the intro music. I hope you heard the intro music. Uh, it was uh, something new I'm trying out. Don't know if I'll stick with it. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, I just don't see what black does besides this move here. I kind of like this move, but then if he plays c6, after takes, 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 take, takes, I'm still happy. But he could take this way, none of that's forced. Yeah, that looks like the only knight move for me, unless he's planning to sack something. Sacking there makes no sense. I take with my knight, he takes with his knight, I take here. Mm-hmm. Okay, expansion on the king side seems natural. He could jump in here. I could just throw on a massive, massive attack. Oops, sorry about that. And my opponent keeps disconnecting. I don't like that. <clears throat> I didn't even see how many games he's played. 2,000. From Colombia. Probablemente habla español también. Okay. Candidate moves here. Crushing in the center. No. No. Almost. I'm almost crushing in the center. Yeah, black probably wants to contest. I think I play here, and then my next move I challenge the knight and, and, and kick the knight back too. <clears throat> Although the knight could go here. Here, here. Here takes a check. It's bad for me. Yeah, honestly, this knight maneuver right now is probably not that bad. Then the question is, where do I go from there? Okay, interesting. What does this do for me? Okay, I don't like this push anymore because of this. Um, I think I can just hit this guy with a tempo. Seems very natural. Tempo, force him back, hit the knight. The knight jumps out, so I won't I wouldn't push further. Tempo, force him back, and then do this little knight maneuver. <clears throat> Seems quite good. quite pleasing really hard to take advantage of my king on e2 that's why I think if you know your opening theory black may have thought that by getting me to move my king it was bad for me but I've I've gone over the theory of this position and white's fine the massive center and the peace activity well well compensates the fact that I'm not castling that's why I enjoy the king's gambit so much okay my first thought was to play here if I play here, what does he do? I don't know. If I play here and then takes and then I can advance this pawn, it's like, what am I doing? I've extended my pawns and I'm absolutely suffocating him, but 
can't go back here, he can't go there, he can't go there, he can't go there, he can't go there. I think I'm getting his dark squared bishop. And forever leaving his knight in just a horrible position. Okay, he castles. Um, my knight's kind of out of the game, and his bishop has a lot of scope, so I'm just going to pull the trigger on that. Okay. Could try and cramp him, but he's not going anywhere. Probably want to try and get a rook. Oh, not there because of the knight. But this knight's dead. He's not going anywhere. I need to somehow take advantage of black. And I need my king on a safer square. Pushing seems nice. Okay, push. Maybe the queen comes and sits on this dark square diagonal. Push and break through here. Hmm, I don't know what the right move is. Let's see what black's moves are. Black cannot develop the queen there. Black can develop the queen there and target this untargeted pawn, which I'd probably play there. No checks. Light squared bishop's doomed. What if we played this ultra aggressive? Oh, this pawn's hanging. Whew, glad we didn't just play this move, right? This pawn is hanging. So what what do we do with hanging pawns? We gotta push. Here, 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 here. Yeah, it looks great opening him up. Okay, here. Takes. Queen takes. So not an option here. Passive, I'm happy here he could still go here then he has that check forking me and the queen so probably a queen move to kick the knight this looks right if here I have to play here because I can't blunder that okay I think we want to break this pin anyways Oh, but if I move there, it com this this comes with check. Here, maybe? I'd like to activate my light square bishop. The only problem with my position is my light square bishop is horrible. But there's he's not threatening to do anything. Takes, takes, right? He's threatening to dislodge me here. So... I just played it. I didn't think. But I like the restriction that I'm causing. This piece is pretty, this pawn's pretty loose and this pin's very strong. Maybe a sidestep like this is good. Because now the queen can't even move. This bishop can't even move. I feel like black's just being suffocated. Okay, as expected. Okay, the pawn's still defended. So the move right here I thought was to take, was to, to pressure the queen, but the pin's removing that. Because here, 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 there's not enough compensation. Here, here, here takes yeah I'm just not seeing enough okay I think it's time to develop the queen and then get a rook behind so my king can fall back and kind of tuck behind the c-pawn so queen defending this right here looks pretty good and then a queen queen can't move there let's just defend the bishop because the bishop is playing an important role
Okay, I've centralized the queen. I have a massive center. Black's pieces are extremely, extremely restricted. Okay. Doesn't do anything except potentially offer up a uh, queen exchange. So I think I've got a trapped knight here. What do we? What do y'all think? Oh, still pinned. Mm, light square bishop's not going anywhere. So yeah, I'm gonna step up next to my next to my queen. No, the king's got to move, right? So that this pin's no longer here. And then I think we have the knight trapped. So we're going to step over here. Activating the light squared bishop. Threatening to trap the knight. Removing the pin. I think that's a good move. Okay, this is still defended. Um, Do I take and triple his pawns? I mean, how can I resist? How is that? Take, take, and then, and then I have to, I have to move the bishop. But I can easily just target his pawns. I mean, I can't resist. This isn't a check, so. Yeah, and if I get my bishop here. Okay, yeah, this piece still feels awful. Okay, this seems natural. Maybe he tries to undermine me here. To which I respond with the trap. Oh, it's it's not a trap. If I go back, it's a trap. And there's no way out. Hold on, okay. So here, he could move up. But then I can just reroute the bishop. <clears throat> So the plan is to trap the knight next. So, yeah, touching on a couple of things, as you can see, I have posted. I haven't talked much about it because it's been a very interesting game. But, uh, yeah, I need to deny my opponent peace activity. That was kind of the, one of the biggest takeaways. Um, fatigue is real. I didn't realize how tired I got in my last game and so uh, yeah I need to take a break and stay fresh which I have some water here today and a little bit of orange juice earlier and taking in the end games with pawns I should only be doing so to uh, I should only be really doing it to activate my pieces and not activate his pieces. Okay, this is just a night trap, right? Can't go here, can't go here, can't go here. And I'm on your night. Take my pawn in the center. I'm expecting this move to which I will play, I will pin it. And then F takes, check, check, game over. Yeah, I think white is crushing here. Check. Seems nice. Winning the pawn. Check again. Not taking much time here because this is, I think, crushing. Uh, Black's pieces are, are horrendous. Check. Trades off the rook. I mean, if you walk towards my knight, I just win your rook. This should be a resignation. 
I mean, Black's just can't. Black's Rook is trapped. Black's Knight is trapped. Black's uh, everything's trapped. Black's everything. Let's bring some more attackers into the field. What was I doing? I don't know why I didn't take that pawn. This pawn's now loose. <clears throat> so let's defend it. Yeah, I don't know what his plan was. Moving back seems silly. Here, takes. Takes is his idea. Let's check the king, get some initiative. Taking here looks good. Yeah. Probably check here, I think. Hold on to my pawn. Okay, now I'd like to play this move so that this tactic doesn't work anymore. Clearly this doesn't work anymore because my bishop's not defending my rook. Oh. I don't know if he just thought I would miss it or what. And good game. Good game, well played to my opponent. Uh, yeah. Let's go to the analysis board. I'll briefly, I don't know if there's much to look over in this game. Um, I'll request a computer analysis. And maybe take a look at it. See if you can say what Stockfish says. Yeah, three inaccuracies and one blunder. Let's check out the blunder. Oh, I blundered the pawn early. Yep. Yeah, this is a, a massive blunder. Yeah, push the center. Hmm. Kind of an oversight. He missed it though, and then I was able to push for free. Yeah, the evaluation bar is uh, plus seven in this position. After he trades off the, excuse me. After he trades off the, oh, I had mate and eight here. I don't know. A fancy way to win. It's mate and three here. Let's see what it says. One, two, three. Wow. That's a beautiful mate. What could have been, right? Regardless, this was pretty nice. A desperate ploy at a tactic at the end. Uh, yeah, not much to, not much to do there. Um, I'd like to see what it said for like the Cunningham. Let's go to my uh, my study. My studies, King's Gambit, and this is the Cunningham defense. Okay, so this move right here uh, shows the Cunningham defense, and then I played the right move, C3. Yeah. Oh, d4 is the correct move. So yeah, if you don't know the line, uh, it's quite tricky. I mean, moving your bishop back is definitely not right, but the line's supposed to go something like this. And there's a king walk, yeah, to c2, which I knew this. I didn't remember the move d4. 
but I would have taken with my knight as soon as I saw it, and then I would have remembered up to, I would have remembered that move, this move. I would not have remembered queen d2. But it might have been able, I, bet it, I might have been able to figure it out just because putting pressure on this pawn. So I think I would have figured this out. Yeah, and then I probably would have defended. I think I would have figured it out if, if he would have played all the right moves. Because I remember the opening part of the Cunningham, but I mean by like move, yeah, by move four, he already didn't know what to do by going back. Yeah, going back here is terrible. So, Okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Do all those good things below, and we'll catch you next time.